Niners coaching staff will figure that out. No matter what, you call this a good start. There's no question about that. For the hitman, down there with him. I'm Dave Felber. Thanks for watching Xfinity Sports Sunday. And the news is next. Don't go anywhere. For local TV news 24-7, stream NBC Bay Area today. My name is Denise. Ask me about my Honda. I'm a chef, a Tahitian dancer, a golfer, and I love my Honda. My commute is on a two-lane highway. It's super curvy, and I actually think my Honda enjoys driving it as much as I do. The Accord is dependable, it's great on gas mileage, and it's kind of hot. Looking for a car with exceptional value that can keep up with all your flavor? See your Honda dealer for a delicious deal on Accord. Bon appetit. We are astound. Experience the number one rated internet with this special offer. And now we have mobile too. Switch today. Get fast, reliable internet starting at $25 a month all in for one year. Don't forget to ask about Astound Mobile. We are astound. Wake up tomorrow with Today in the Bay. Moving you forward. Also, 911, it's a system we rely on at the worst moments. Our investigative unit uncovers major holes in the oversight of local 911 emergency centers that may be putting both public safety and public money at risk. Plus, crisis averted for a beloved Peninsula diner, how the community came together to help save the business from eviction. Thanks for joining us in the special edition of NBC Bay Area News. I'm Terry McSweeney. And I'm Gia Bang. In an emergency, when you have to call 911, you trust that the system works. Most of the time in California, it does. But who's keeping an eye out for 911 centers that fall through the cracks or fail altogether? Investigative reporter mm -hmm. Candace Wynn has been digging into government agencies that are supposed to monitor our 911 centers and found major shortcomings. This is something where both public safety and public money are at stake. On your phone bill, you pay a 30 cent 911 surcharge. Now, 30 cents, it doesn't seem like much, but with every California phone user paying 30 cents per line every month, it all adds up no. to nearly $200 million last year alone. We found as this money continues to balloon, the agency in charge of managing it is falling behind.